Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be explaining you how you can showcase the O365 admin reports in a Power BI so that you are you can able to share that with the senior management, those who are not having access on the O365 global administrator but having a read access. So it's a general requirement. Um, senior management would like to see your usage of your platform, how the SharePoint is being used, what are the user uh, uh, frequency which is visiting the platform and what is the storage limits and all that stuff so to make that happen we'll just publish the o admin report to the power bi and make it available in a read only mode with the senior management so to start with i'll go to the o admin center and we also started calling it microsoft 365 admin center recently so I just opened it, I click on show all so that I can see the option for reports. Under the reports there is one section usage. Under usage you can scroll down to M365 usage analytics. So when you click on it, it will give you an option to enable the analytics. So what is saying is make data available to M365 users analytics for Power BI so that this uh, user analytic data can be available for Power BI. So I'm just enabling this setting and saving close. So at the admin level we are done. Now we'll go to the Power BI. So from the same section I'm clicking on go to Power BI. It will open the app.powerbi.com for me where I can create the reports for it. So in the home page you'll see the frequently uh, the frequent usage of reports and my workspaces. So you must be seeing uh, that I have workspaces for my SharePoint sites and as well as the my workspace. So generally the office history group sites and team sites generally automatically have the workspaces so that you can publish the reports there itself rather than publishing those into your my workspace. So later on, I'll tell you how to publish the reports, but I'll just uh, go to apps because I would like to find the app for Microsoft Usage Analytics. So I'll click on Get Apps. It will open a pane where I can search for my app and I can see the, uh, the apps which are enabled for my organization. So I'm just going to apps. I can type usage okay in the first option i got this microsoft usage analytics i'm clicking on it get now so this app will be added to my workspace so now i got a prompt uh, if you are doing it for the first time you will not get it if you are doing if you are already having usage report in your workspace then it will ask for the option overwriting in or install a new workspace in a different uh, location altogether so i'm just uh, overwriting my initial one so doing install okay I have it available so in workspace it created the section for me where I can see one Microsoft 365 uses analytics it's a report and one is Microsoft 365 uses analytics it's a data set so when I say data set we have to specify the data source for my report so this is why it created two components so now what I'll do, I have to connect this report to my OSSTF admin data source. I'll click on connect your data. So in data, it's already populating my tenant, but uh, how you can get the tenant ID, I'll show you in a while. So I'm going back to my admin center. I'm browsing to my Azure Active Directory. So under the Active Directory, I click on Azure Active Directory. If you can see in overview, I am getting my tenant ID. So I am copying this one. Let's copy into clipboard. I am going to Power BI and pasting to my tenant ID. So in next screen, I've been asked for the authentication mode. So I'll be choosing OR2. And privacy level, I would be want this report to be available with an organization only. I'll just choose the organization and sign in. So 
so now I have connected my data source you can see there is a small loading circle is being run on there so that means it's refreshing the data so refreshing is in progress it may take couple of seconds to five minutes to refresh your data source so if you get a refresh fail or if you're not seeing your data then you not to worry you need to just wait for five ten minutes so that the, all the refreshing can happen and for the first time if you're doing for the first time it may take even 10 to 15 minutes so be patient so now it's supposed to be refreshed so I am just opening my report and I'm clicking on it okay so the data is refreshed so once once the data is refreshed you start seeing the uh, stats for your tenant user adoption communication collaboration product usage and all the stuff is there but if the data is not refreshed it will keep on showing the sample data which is uh, being managed by Microsoft it's just a sample you need not to worry about so once your data is there so you you can uh, uh, analyze what usage your platform is having you can go to different uh, tabs uh, SharePoint, Skype, Teams how these are being used and what are the user activities so this, this is how you can you can manage you can have the OTCF admin reports exported to your Power BI so now comes the next step how to share it with the senior management so there is a click share button where if you click on it it will give you a pane where specifically you can type the email addresses the whom you want to share otherwise you can also uh, keep it open for everyone so and the options you can see there are three options allow recipient to share your reports if you want further recipient can share with the further uh, um, uh, users or employees they can do that allow recipients to build a new content using underlying data set so data set would be shared in that case and the third is obvious one uh, sending an email notification <clears throat> and there is a direct link which is app link so you can directly share with the, those people uh, if you are unchecking this then you can just copy it and uh, separately share that in the email so for timing I'm just uh, typing one email address of my colleague and if I click on share it gets shared with that specific person So this is one way of doing it and uh, if you see in the new look it uh, the icons are in a minimized fashion so that you can have your uh, the more space for you uh, this uh, report you can click on various uh, options fit to width where can it can expand and fit it to the your screen width so that you can better uh, see the reports and there are a few other options if you see analyze in Excel embed SharePoint online you can embed this report to SharePoint online directly and as well as you can publish this uh, to a web public so if your if your portal is in a different one then you will be getting an embedded code where you can uh, embed this report over there then you can also see the usage metrics of this report who is accessing this report and uh, who all uh, uh, already like got a got a view on this report you can have it so this is how you can you can create this <coughs> and I'll show you quickly show you how you can share that within SharePoint online because you may want to embed it in the SharePoint online so the, the URL you got it from SharePoint online is this so you'll just paste copy this URL and I'll just open one site create one new page and I'll just create one page make it just plain so that we can better view that report and I'll add one Power BI web part to it and in that web part in the property it will ask me to pay the, pay, paste the report link so the link which I got from that I just pasted over here and now you can see <clears throat> the default which page you want to show so these are the options if you see in the left hand side executive summary and all these are coming over here so what default option you want to see so I'm selecting executive sum summary so whenever a person opens the page the executive summary should be shown to him and you can also choose the sizing of this report so the for the better visibility I keep on choosing the 16 to 9 and navigation to the pane if I just unselect this one you will just see 
the data itself you will not see the navigation at the top the filtering and all stuff so I am just showing turning that off on as well now I am just saving this page okay I need to name it this page So now we have it. So we have our report embedded over here. We have we uh, learned how to share these reports, and we also learned how to embed the uh, MTCR user reports in a SharePoint site, as so that you can share with the senior management or the people who are interested in looking at the reports. So if I hope you like the video. If you like it, please drop a comment and as well, as well as subscribe the channel. Thanks everyone.